Well, here we are again, after you guys have absolutely smashed the heck out of like and loved the last episode of us looking at High Guardian Spice. The funny thing is, I said everything wrong with High Guardian Spice, and I literally only meant really the first episode, because if I did the other episodes, it would just be an incredibly long video, and I didn't really think people would care that much. Apparently, you guys really wanted the rest. So, I'm like, okay, we got the three episode rule. We're gonna go to the third episode, see how bad this rabbit hole really gets. Now, I'm not gonna cover the same things that I, you know, said in the first video, such as the bad animation, kind of the wacky voice acting, you know, like, it, it's just questionable there. And even the, you know, strong language intended for mature audience only things there, like, eh. Let's just go into this uh, with a nice open minds and let's just see how episodes two and three hold up. So if you guys don't remember from the first episode, literally nothing was accomplished. Now we're at the school where actually things should be happening. We hope. Okay, this little gargoyle bothers me instead of like a roar. It's like a bell noise, and there's clearly no old bells or anything ringing there. It's just him roaring, but it's a bell sound. Come on, man. So now they're going to do this whole big announcement orientation thing, and surprise, surprise, the headmasters are three women. It really shouldn't surprise anyone. This is only really relevant because at the final episode, the bad guys were all men in the console. I'm, ju I'm just gonna point some things out. Should we start? I think we should give the students a minute to settle in. Waiting gives me hives. We know. We have grumpy old lady in charge of this school, and apparently she gets hives and stuff like that. Why is she in charge of children when she clearly doesn't like her job or anything here? She's completely rude. This is not what you should see. And you can even see the other people don't like her as well. Harsh! We have a thing to say. We have a thing to say. She seems to be like the oldest and wisest here, but she says we have a thing to say. Oh, I'm so kooky. I'm an old granny and I'm at the head of the school. As it is your first day of school, you've each been selected for your exceptional qualities, which you will hone over the course of three years. Just one bit of business before we send you off to class. I think it's pretty creepy the way these three kind of finish each other's sentences, even though th I don't think they're blood related. I mean, maybe they are, but they're not twins, you know? It's like something you see out of horror movies. It's, it's, it's weird. As it is your first day of school, we welcome you. about orientation. No orientation, only disorientation. <laughs> Yo, I say some awful jokes, but wow, that is really bad. I don't know what else to say. That That's just a strike just for the terrible joke. And again, clearly this granny wants to screw over every single one of these children out here. I Can you, can you not have this lady in charge when she clearly wants to sabotage everything? Here's the deal. Write some lousy vows and yell what you wrote into that hole over there. Yeah. Yell into a hole. Got it. So the whole plot behind this nice big speech that they were given for minutes at a time is to yell into a hole now that they're at this school. Like, wow, okay. Yell into a hole your vows. So magical. Welcome to High Guardian Academy. Everybody leave! Welcome to the academy. Now everybody leave! And she's like threatening them with their stick. Is she gonna blow them up with magic? There's even some students that are left behind. They're just still looking at her. It's just like, yes, please blow me up. I don't want to be in this show anymore, please. <laughs> How is it that I didn't know about the vows? Am I doomed to failure? Ooh, that's good. Add doomed to failure to your vows. Rosemary, those are just my feelings. Well, they'd make great vows. So main character wants her best friend forever to be doomed to failure. And that'd be great vows. Yes, I want you to be doomed for failure forever. Yo, I again, I cannot stress enough that this main character is a psychopath. She doesn't even want her best friend to succeed. Attention class. My name is Wyverna Dredge. 
So they got this redhead devil to teach humans ethics. A devil to teach ethics. Yo, this school is doomed to fail before I even, like, even started on this show. And the thing that really bothers me is the fact that she's got lopsided horns on the top of her head. I get the fact that her hair's supposed to cover where the horn connects, but it actually just looks like it's on one side of her head while there are other horns on the front. It's just really lopsided. So as the teacher begins to teach her lesson, the very first thing that our pinky girl does is pull out her magical girl diary that's super kitty with lots of kitty doodles right in front of the class, right in front of the teacher. I, how is this show not made for kids? And how does the devil teacher not clearly see this girl not paying attention in class. Yo, this kid who was a jerk to her, she's like, you know what? I'm gonna draw him lizards with hearts. And that's supposed to make everything good. How is this show made for mature audiences? I, 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 I don't know. The kids in the background are very static and they rarely ever move. And the blue haired girl looks like she's going extreme dirt. She looks like she's on that very good happening magical dust stuff. Just look at that face, man. She's out of it. And by the way, we still haven't even got like an actual plot besides attending school, nor real villain to know of. I guess the bullies are the villains now? I'm, I'm not really sure what direction the show wants. At least in like the thing they're trying to rip off, you know, Harry Potter, we had Voldemort right off the bat. You knew he was bad. His presence was always there because of Harry Potter's scar on his forehead. I'm going to call some of your names now. Zinya. So the dwarf girl's class, you can clearly see at this particular frame that the teacher is missing his tail. He's got an X where his tail would be, and I think that's like on his butt. <laughs> now that I think about it right there. So they, they're missing his tail. You can start by sitting down. I can do that! Teacher says you can start by sitting down after she's late to class, but if you looked at the rest of the class, nobody's sitting down because there's no seats. So why is he telling her to sit down? Hey, time. You're Parsley's roommate, right? You're lucky. As I stepped on crack, yes. Don't <gasps> worry, I'm here. At ease, pores. At ease, pores? This girl just comes out of nowhere, shoves these girls aside and says, at, at ease, ease pores. pores. Why not just say plebs? Plebeians? Why not just say like, at ease, commoners or you know, something that says like a little bit more like status -y instead of pores. You just, you take all the class out of her with this terrible grammar or whatever. At, At ease, ease pores. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sacred Alphabets. I'm Professor Caraway. Fabulous. <laughs> Not the voice I was expecting, but okay. And just so you know, there is a reason why the teacher sounds like this. I'll get to it later. I've read, or, uh, my mother, she had a lot of books, so- Your family can read? That is wild. It's, um, Sage, right? Where are you from? He just clearly ignores this kid who's clearly bullying another. What? Why are these teachers so horrendously bad at this school? All right, let's dive in. Runes are read to predict future probabilities. They must be interpreted based on context. Okay, this is where I call the biggest BS right here. There is no boys in freaking blacksmithing. What? The coolest place where guys would love to be blacksmithing and there's no blacksmith boys? Ugh, John. There's one boy in here, but he's throwing a baby tantrum because a girl finished before. Wow. <laughs> if you make two, a couple of you could spar on this. John. Two pounds of a hammer against an anvil does not make a dagger. You cannot do it that quick. That's that doesn't make any sense. So, mm, uh, class dismissed. What student finishes early and then all of a sudden, you know what? Class is dismissed. We're done here. Also, by the way, you can clearly see that the tail exists on the teacher again. The, the case of the missing and disappearing tail. When the teachers realize that crusty old magic kids don't belong here and they ship you back to slab. I'm from Pebble. 
There is a village called Slab, but it had to be evacuated due to locusts. Ugh, your comebacks are as stale as your magic. And your hat. Hey, you should apologize. You should apologize for that posture, sweetie. You look like an invertebrate. And guess what? I'm not letting you go until you agree. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, dude. Are you sure this show is meant for mature audiences out here? Like, really? Come on, dude. That's so dumb. Honestly, these first two episodes I could show to a little child and it would fit right in with any of the shows that they're watching. Just this dumb, drivelly, garbage nonsense. They, they couldn't tell the difference. Okay, this kid is clearly like running for his life using the widest birth angle right there. He had that whole thing to do like a like a quick easy turn, but he does the sharp turn when he's about to hit the wall. I like, it's just literally just for a meeting. I don't understand. And in this next scene, the teacher just says it's completely unnecessary that they ran. You didn't need to run. I ran. You think anyone will notice if we hide? <laughs> <laughs> what is this black girl just kicked this other elf in the face? <laughs> is it just normal to be kicking another person in the face? Yo, what's with these kids just pushing air and doing all these Tai Chi kind of things out here? Whoa, whoa, magic show, yes. Okay, so you got this magic club school out here. What do they got for magicking in here? What kind of clubs? They have pottery and dance. Come on, man. At least Harry Potter came up with like its own little sport. There's so many more cool things you can do with magic and you're going with pottery and dance. Okay, at least with the pottery one, they used magic here, but now there is a tight rope. A, a, a tight rope club? This is a circus act? This seems to be a lot of clowns here. And reused animation. Yet again of the bell gargoyle. Actually, is this is it the same time? Okay, no, they just flipped the hand. That's all they did to change it. It's not the exact same, but they just flipped the little hand. Oh, oh. oh please, sit. All right, so they have a teacher that kind of looks like a hooker. Great, she's even smoking in front of the class. Ah, a hooker using drugs to teach children. Oh, this, this is going to end up very well. Okay, not necessarily a hooker, but basically the Japanese equivalent of a geisha. Uh, hey! Oops! This has to be the dumbest silent bullying scene I've seen. Of just deadpan silence for the longest time. Of her just going to sit next to her and then just the... Oops! 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 Like, oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. I am Professor Redbud, and this is Potions class. Have some tea. <laughs> Did you enjoy your poison? <laughs> the potion teacher just told them to drink, um, and by drinking, she just poisons the entire class. A teacher poisoning the entire class. You have one hour to concoct a potion that will stop you from perishing as a result of this sophisticated poison. Yo, so they only got one hour to live before they die? <gasps> How is she a teacher? She's trying to murder her entire classroom. Yo, this kid literally has hands for feet. How is he supposed to make a potion when he's got feet hands? He's, he's screwed. Welcome, first year students. I am Hakone Sivet. Proud to be your battle tactics instructor and future personal hero. Today we begin with tree poses. So the battle instructor starts them out with a tree pose. I mean, I guess budget wise it makes sense because it's very simple to animate, but the main character knocks everybody over anyway. Do you guys think I should get bangs? I think you shouldn't kill your students. Hey, yo, actually the first sensible thing said in the show, don't kill your students. Holy crap! Congratulations! Congratulations! Everybody, drink this! I don't 
don't trust it slash her. So nobody here is drinking that magic potion until that one bully says, okay, fine, I guess I don't want to die. And then they all drink it. Okay, so tree posing to fighting deadly dragon whelps with huge claws and teeth. Yeah, uh, I don't think children should be fighting these creatures barehanded. <laughs> A burp joke. Really? Children, listen when we speak. We have watched all of the vows you recited into the confessional well. Let's take a look at some of them. So they're now listening to everyone's vows out loud in front of like the entire school body. And this kid has the creepiest thing I think I've ever heard. I vow to think about anything that's not wet, loud, kissing. What was that? It is an adventure. Okay, bye. And that's it. Oh, really? Welcome all. Congratulations on surviving disorientation. <laughs> and now we get to the wrap up of the episode of after all that BS garbage of being a guardian is so great. They're all just friends and magical together and everything's so hunky dory. Even though the main character almost killed this black elf lady and, and yeah, and apparently they're cool now. Yeah, friendship is magic, I guess. Wait, where have I heard that one? Are they, are they trying to mimic that show now? So episode three, I guess they've been training. We're having this little montage of them becoming better at what they do, sort of. This just feels like Star Wars where Rey's is like swinging her lightsaber around and now suddenly she's a master grand Jedi. It feels so undeserved. I don't know. It's just, I don't like it. In this scene, our black elf here clearly is holding just the handle of her bow. But in the next scene over, the bow appears. <laughs> so they clearly forgot to animate her bow. What? My friend. <laughs> you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wah! So there's this massive like bug or fly that lands on her sandwich here. It's massive, but dang, look at that hand though. <laughs> look how atrocious the hands look. Look, I am no artist myself, but wow, there's zero shade. That hand looks so freaking atrociously bad. I'm only saying it because it's literally right in our face. <laughs> I've ruined the one thing that matters to me. So she said after like fighting this bug that she breaks her sword and she says this is the one thing that matters to her. But what about the picture on her necklace? I mean, she also has a blacksmith friend. I don't know. I, you think the blacksmith friend could just fix it? Just saying, she is a blacksmith. Yo, that teacher coming out like an initial D drive. <laughs> How does he walk so fast while holding a book? Excuse me? Hello, everyone. I trust you're having a glorious day. The way life gifts us with changes, new seasons, new oh, friends. Oh, God, those frogs. stupid frog goats are back. Oh, oh my Lord. I'm pretty sure they're there for merchandise only. They serve no interest to the plot whatsoever, but just like the porgs of Star Wars, merchandise. Rosemary, find us after. We'll fix this. Miss you. Love you. See you so soon. Miss you. Love you. See you so soon. Jesus Christ. There's some lovey-dovey stuff. Out. In case you forgot that they were lovers, they, I, they're making it pretty obvious. Good. Plant your feet firmly. Find your center. Yo, this show has a lot of problems with perspective, obviously. But in this scene in particular, the kid... And the mom looks so giant in comparison to the house. It just, it just looks off, all right? <laughs> they either have a really small house or they are just really giant people. Either one. Honestly. This is inconsistent here of her doing her blacksmithing job. She took more than two wax to make anything. So clearly fake, a fraud out here, okay? And here we can see that the teacher is missing his tail once again. And also the fact that the furnace seems to be overflowing with molten lava onto the floor, 
with no sort of sinkhole or anything to absorb it. It's just kind of there. You're thinking danger's happening going on. You know, just maybe something bad gonna happen. Oh, is that a lizard? You are just like her. My friend. One of my closest friends. Your mom. So fixing the picture center into the Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets here. Now where's that basilisk at out there? Whoa! just a trapper and look your whole family well at least it's not spiders but crabs okay <laughs> at least they're not completely copying harry potter and the chamber of secrets is that how crabs sound okay yeah they can't really capture good crab sounds but what is that and why do these things remind me of parasect the pokemon i don't know you at least need to help me clean this up are you going to <laughs> <sighs> my mouth can say words now. That is not the voice I was expecting to come out of that. And by the way, yes, we have furry appeal now. Congratulations, we got furries in here. <laughs> what? I have got some opinions and... Wait, what's my name? I have got some opinions. <laughs> That's the first thing you say when you become a furry. Show him to Twitter. Let him make as many tweets as he wants, quick. Cat head, but with like the kind of man body with fingers. That's just weird. I'm uncomfortable. I am very uncomfortable. This was our first everything hours, dorks. Is that your sister? It's me, actually. I'm transgender. I don't know that word. I was born into a female body, but it wasn't the right body for me. So I used new magic to change it. Ah, so they explained transgender. I sure hope this isn't the reason why it got a mature audience rating. They literally had to explain it to you in this show. Diversity. Literally just exploded another student with a smile on her face. She just blew him up. This, this is clearly not a safe school. So in this flashback of fighting this manticore, mom jumps into the air to fight this thing over a gaping cliff, but all of a sudden when she stabs it, she's suddenly on the ground and it just stops there. Okay. Also, there is blood. Ooh. So the Dark Elf sent legit arrowheads into this furry beast, shot him twice in the back with sleeping potion stuff on it. These arrows are tipped with napping potion. That stuff could easily kill somebody, all right? <laughs> so the dwarf is stuck in this really weird storage closet. And I don't understand how this closet even makes sense here because you have to come in from the top in order to store things. It doesn't make sense functional wise even in a magical school how do you access this easily professor flox is going to think i'm a real dunce <laughs> sucks you're in this situation <laughs> okay well that was a test so for a lesson to just use that tiny baby blacksmith hammer, this teacher got her stuck in danger for hours on end with zero food and zero direction just to use a hammer better? That makes zero sense. This school has serious safety violations. You know what made all of this more interesting? If it wasn't the actual good teachers putting them through, good in quotations out here, but maybe like a villain doing all of this and they have to figure out their way using their brains and their skills and the power of friendship to overcome these obstacles. That would have been way more interesting. Nippy cat. 
What? What are you doing? I have a mission! I have the power! <laughs> Enough of this. She literally shoots three arrows in his back. She has zero mercy for this cat that has, like, it's not even, like, trying to harm them. What is she doing? Amaryllis, that garbage you pulled made me lose my grip. I meant to cast a gentle, harmless spell. 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 You're a jerk. Yo, this girl is literally scolding your butt out and your homie, but you're now magically falling in love with her? Yo, this guy's a masochist confirm. What the frick is this? What? Okay, so as you can see here, this rot is what took mom away. They're the evil tentacles. At least we have a hint at maybe a greater plot. Something. So that's the end of three episodes. And at the end of three episodes, we can see that the teachers really don't care about the students. The students are a danger and a menace to everyone around them. There is no villain besides, I guess, the teachers and the students. Literally, there's no good guys. Three episodes and we don't have a clear direction of where this is going yet. The only like thing that we have just to egg us on a little bit is the mystery surrounding the mom and the rot. That's, that's about it. I don't know, this show is just a legit disaster. I, I, I don't like any of the characters. The only one that's somewhat likable, I guess, to me, is maybe the blue-haired witch girl. That's about it. And that's only because she's clearly not trying to murder anybody. Unlike literally everybody else in the cast. <laughs> Anyway, that's gonna do it here. I don't know if I want to do any more of this here. Please, um, free me. Don't let make me do any more of this. Please, I don't want to watch any more. I don't want to go in depth of all this. Please, free me. If you have other shows you would like me to review in a similar manner, please leave them below. I'd be glad to give them a look. And for now, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for some more high quality content, and I'll see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother.